I'm going to take the blame. It's my fault that the Lakers got beat like they stole something last night. I put it in the atmosphere, so now I have to take it back. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to The Fumble. I'm Jackie Ray. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and then you can follow me on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter at Jackie Ray TV. Now let us flashback, shall we? Flashback to game one against the Warriors in Chase Arena, and the Lakers reigned victorious, 112 to 117. In that game, Anthony Davis had 23 rebounds. 19 were defensive, meaning he was helping to shut down those second chance points. He had five assists and then the oh so beautiful four blocks. And then the 30 points was just icing on a masterful cake. It was an Anthony Davis masterpiece. He showed up in a way that all of us in Laker Nation have wanted him to do since day one. So as if I have never been to this rodeo before, I tweeted, dear Lord, oh, please protect and let us keep this AD. This is the AD we need. This is the AD we deserve on behalf of Laker Nation. Amen. Do you know how that prayer ended up? 23 rebounds turned into seven. How in the inconsistent hell, but let me move on. He did have four assists and three blocks, so similar, but instead of 30 points, he had just 11, and instead of one turnover, he had four. Going into this series, what did I say? The Lakers cannot continue to be inconsistent if they wanna win. Of all the teams that you cannot be inconsistent with, the Splash Brother Warriors are number one. Now, I know a lot of people probably feel some type of way about the Lakers not even trying to come back at the end and sitting LeBron and AD in the fourth quarter, but the writing was on the wall before the half. The third quarter just made it official, and given LeBron's age and AD's frailty, sitting them down was the right call. Game three is here in LA on Saturday, so hopefully we can take the lead back, but I've said it before, I'ma say it again. What the Lakers need to win this series is something they haven't had all season. Say it with me, consistency. I don't know how we'll get something now that we haven't had since they traded the entire farm for AD, but I do know that you cannot count on me to jinx it again on Twitter. But Laker Nation, how do you feel? The tide is definitely with the Warriors right now. Does it shift back to the Lakers on Saturday? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray, and thanks for watching The Fumble.